Hi guys. Holy fuck, when did you last see a Sierra logo? Yeah. We're gonna do something that's probably a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> no, this is King's Quest. This is King's Quest, the new the remake or the I don't know. I don't know if it's a remake or a reboot or it's just a sequel without the number. Anyway, it's King's Quest, one from 2015. It uses an auto save feature. Uh I mentioned this is a terrible idea and it's probably because I am fucking awful at video I'm, Well yes, video games in general too, but I'm fucking awful at adventure games. And it's kind of supposed to be like a, like an old school adventure game, and a, just I can never figure out the sort of adventure game logic. Okay, this seems simple enough. Okay. Uh, gameplay. Is there something here I need to? It's probably, probably actually I can actually probably use a controller here. Let's see. Just this. Can I just, yeah, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, I'm usually more, no, no, oh fuck, I was gonna say I'm usually more comfortable with a controller and then I press the wrong button instead of going to the controller screen. It's just, I can't even get through the main menu of this game, we are doomed already. X is inventory, A is use interact, B is exit, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, the thing is that uh, they just released the first this episodic game. That they released the first episode for free for some reason. Chapter one, a night to remember, is what we are going to play. And I, oh, I've, apparently the whole game isn't even finished yet. I thought, I thought it might have been. But we're gonna try the free one. Probably fail miserably at that. I don't, know if ever, I don't know if you ever played King's Quest before, it's a really old game series. Like, starting in the 80s, I think. Okay, so we have a dude here we can control, that's cool. Let's see the inventory, there's nothing in the inventory, okay, that's fair enough. Okay. Ah, oh, the action icon stay. That seems rather smooth. Let's take a look. Okay. Yay, quick time events. We all love quick time events. Well, it's not really quick time, it's just... Well, I don't know. Techni I'm not sure if that's technically a quick time event or not. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, my character decided it would be a good idea to go into the well. I've not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Oh, narration. Cool. Okay, and there's a fucking mattress here, because of course there is. Oh, shit. Okay, I did. Uh, okay, let's go in there then, I guess. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. I've never played this game before, by the way. I have no idea where I'm coming. I'm just doing what seems most obvious right now. Okay, he automatically jumped, that's cool. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. Well, we are gonna go left first. Because we always go left first. Oh, 
And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. <laughs> but since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right <laughs> one. Okay. The hell is with the mattresses here? Kind of a cheap shot by the game, but at least it didn't take a long time to get back to the action scene. Pockets, barrels, butter churns, and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. The fuck? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Uh... Okay, it's a weird bridge. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws. Oh, was fuck, it's a dragon. Fable mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story? Well, dragons are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking, Beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... Add a shinier hat to my collection. Okay. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Yeah, that sure wouldn't work without that one handle. Okay. was booby trapped what did you do well i used my cleverness to outsmart the trap yeah, i don't know how that physics yeah, on that i use my cleverness roll high work under the table under the bed maybe in, in the bed okay Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. What did you use to fix the broken switch? Let's see about this. I wonder if I could have taken the handle from the churn, just call it churn. The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Okay. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. 
What the fuck is that? What the hell is going on in here? So is the dragon just like stealing beds or something? I think I'm gonna run here now. This seems like the way to go here. I don't want to hear the narrator being a smart ass about obviously not dying that way. If I can avoid it. Let's get to bed. Take a little drink here. I have some uh, carbonated water. Try to avoid avoid making more noise. Get to bed. Getting the hang of these game mechanics here. I think I think I assume nothing bad is ha happening, so I assume I'm doing the right things. Okay. Go here. Ah, Whoever shit. designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. <laughs> Promptly, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything here, do I? No? Okay. Well, that makes a... Ah. Well... I... Uh, okay. Guess that's what you do before you grave robe. Or something. Oh, that's... that's nasty. Okay, what do we do for arrows? Oh, I guess we just have them. First person shooting mechanics, because that's what the old adventure games were missing. I don't, I don't really mind though, that's... It's a bit, it's a bit weird, but I don't mind if it's something like that. We'll, we'll see if there's like a fucking... Nazi zombie horde or something later that I have to kill. The okay. mirror called out to me. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Ah. Uh, okay, I thought I was being clever there, but I probably not. the bell. Narcoleptic dragon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, 
Okay, that's not... He refused. Shit. Okay, what the hell do I do now? Nothing in the inventory. That's... Okay, I can't really move backwards here either. Fine, let's ring the bell again, see what happens. There aren't that many pe moving pieces in this particular puzzle, so... Should be able to figure this out eventually. No, what do I do? Do I wait or do I ring the bell again? Okay, let's ring it again. Now that there's no meat there, what does the dragon do? I know. Okay. Now this just wakes him up again and then we go back to park. God damn it. I'm not going to go see this again. No, that doesn't, I don't think that's gonna work. What the fuck do I do now? Oh, he won't ring the bell even now. Shit. Can okay, I ring the bell now? I don't know why the thing go Oh, do I get him to move now? Is that how I do? Okay. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure how this logic is supposed to work, but... Let's see if I can hitch a ride now. Yes. Alright, let's get the fucking mirror. I'm not entirely sure how, by what logic the platform moved to the left with the meat instead, but... Alright. Well, shit. I think we ought to move. Oh, great! Running towards the camera, that's always great. Always fun. I do kind of like how this game looks, to be honest. No! The rope, you idiot! The rope! Holy shit. It's kind of weird, I'm aiming with the right stick and shooting with the A key. Okay, that's a quick time event. These are proper QTEs, at least. At least I don't have to be super precise with the aiming here. Jump! Yay! That's alright, that's kind of awesome. 
Okay, now what? Okay. That was close. That was too close. <laughs> <laughs> getting the hat. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, oh, she's gonna arrow me. Oh, no. How long is that chain, anyway? Come on, let's... How about we back away now, please? Thank you, yes. Alright, we move back to controls now. Oh, fuck. Where am I? There, what? there I am. Okay. No! She... Oh, fuck. You escaped with only a flesh wound. God damn it. Okay, that running thing was tricky. That's the part where I die, not the fucking fast paced shooting bits. Okay, come on. Let's go. You. Yes. Yes. All right. I think we made it. So now we go With this way. With a magic way. mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of a daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. Yeah, that's always a magic mirror. Is always a good. Uh, it's always a good way to govern through magic. Oh shit, what the hell is this now? In that oh, split second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Yep, let's try that one. Oops, did I free the dragon? I... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody might not like me freeing the dragon. I'll deal with that later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Speeding the bow. Okay. My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams are many hidden adventures. All right. Let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free, even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. 
I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Um, I wonder if there's an auto save somewhere here. I think I'll continue until I see the fucking icon there. But I'm definitely ending this video soon, I think. I think I just better watch these videos first. Cutscenes, not video. The word is cutscenes. Yeah, let's not call an adult. Let's just. Okay, some asshole kid. Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> oh, it's a cousin. I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care. But he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the Stop very being best a seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on any. Oh, come on. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. This cutscene is boring. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Oh, God. Like the fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm gonna take B here, I think. Treating my opponents with respect. You'll be surprised what opens up to Guess you. Guess that's how we're playing this. A lovely fellow once told me the fastest way to anyone's heart is through their stomach. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, Come on, where's the save I'd point? It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. Can I move him? I 
can. I think. I think it matters though. Yeah, let's keep pulling after that. That's oh, you missed the hat. Oh, goddamn! After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, <laughs> I welcome the sight of an actual rogue. The first sign of civilization. All right, there it was. You saw the little crown there at the bottom corner. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna play more of this, I think, later. But right now, this I still don't have a fucking counter on my recording. I don't know how long this is going, but I assume it's long enough for one video. So until next time, I hope you all have a fantastic day.